To gain access to the lab, you'll need an ID card. You can get one from a guard in an orange jacket stationed in an area where you can hear Quetzal singing. To get the ID card from the soldier, do a body check. You've got to get inside that lab before the AI gets shipped out. Get a move on. a Quetzal singing close to where your target is located. Keep your ears open. Guess not. Close! Bolton recovery helicopter is complete. If you forget what a Quetzal sounds like, give Cecile a call on the radio. She'll remind you. Which soldier has the ID card? Do a body check. To do a body check, first knock the soldier out, or put him to sleep, or hold him up. That works too.
He's here! Uh. Uh. It's the enemy! Send reinforcements! Uh. What's wrong? Uh. We have a situation. Back up, team. Head over and investigate. jacket. Come <laughs> 
Those were footsteps! The enemy's claws! <laughs> If the enemy knows where you are, lie low for a while and wait for them to lift the alert. Excellent. It's open. Snake. Yes, waiting without joy or pleasure. Waiting for the one I despise. Don't move! Don't move? You men and your guns. You all say the same thing. I suppose you're here to destroy my research. Yes, I know. Just as I know what you did ten years ago. Go on. Kill me like you killed her. Kill me like you killed the boss! Kill me! What exactly do you... Come on, Snake. Or should I say Big Boss? That filthy title given you as reward for murder. Do you still wear it with pride? You chose a shadowy country over the mentor who made you what you are. You brought despair to good soldiers everywhere. You use the pretext of a mission to kill a true hero! Is that what you call loyalty? Answer me! The boss. Well, what do you have to say for yourself? She betrayed America. She stole a Davy Crockett and then defected to the other side. She used an American nuclear weapon to attack Soviet territory. The only way for Washington to prove its innocence to Moscow was to eliminate the traitor themselves. The boss's death was the only thing that could have prevented all-out nuclear war. Is that what you call the truth? It's the truth as it was told to me. So the truth is that you sullied the reputation of your mentor, the woman you love most in this world, before you buried her? It was my mission. Huh. So that's the conclusion you came to in order to live with yourself. What's the boss to you? I'm the one she abandoned when she left this world. I won't rest until I get answers from the woman I loved. You and I are the same. We are the walking dead. <sighs> Would you like to meet her? The boss is gone. Not so fast. You'd like to meet her, wouldn't you? I can arrange it. You took her life. I gave it back. You what? 
care for a sniff? It's only snuff. You're a cigar man, aren't you? Well, there's no smoking in there, so if you want to meet her, you'd best partake now. <coughs> Follow me. This is my baby, my morpho butterfly. It's neither pupa nor cocoon, but an Amar girl. A complete individual, in the fullest sense of the word. Is someone there? Uh, boss. We have a visitor. I'll introduce him. Don't try anything foolish. As long as we're in here, I can reduce you to carbon at the press of a button. Who are you? A man. A warfighter. I call it the Mammal Part. Mammal Part? For my participation on the project, I demanded access to all information on the boss. Everything the CIA had. Her personal history, military records, physiological data, correspondence, the files for every operation she took part in, every decision she ever made at every possible turn, what she took and what was taken from her. Her pain and her pleasure, her joy and sorrow, her life and death, and yes, even you. Why, why would you do that? Coldman sought an MAD-based AI that would deliver an effective retaliatory strike against the most appropriate target in response to a nuclear attack from a hypothetical adversary. An unmanned device to act as a deterrent capable of making the decisions and taking the actions that human beings cannot. I therefore concluded he required a cool, calculating machine, programmed to inflict swift, sure, and utter annihilation upon the enemy. No retaliation. But he took it upon himself to come up with a different answer. He said he needed the thought patterns of the very finest rational mind, one that thought on a global scale, took both past and future into consideration, and reached the best decision no matter how painful. And that's why you asked for everything they had on the boss. It was the logical thing to do. I knew of only one person who could be entrusted with the fate of the entire human race. What's your real goal here? To clear her name. Why was a legendary hero forced to betray her country? Why was she targeted for assassination by you, her most beloved disciple? I have no use for fabrications. I want the truth. The boss's last will. You must be dying to know yourself. No. No. She abandoned her country. Abandoned us all. Really? You think you understand her feelings? You're trying to recreate the boss's last will. Is that it? Why don't you ask her yourself, Jack? Jack? What? Jack? Boss? Jack? Boss? Jack! Go home! I'm not your boss anymore! Boss? Go home! No, I... Complete your mission, Snake. Extinguish that noble soul once again. If you can. Oh, God. 
discontinued. I taught you all I could. The rest you needed to learn on your own. Techniques, sure. But what about how to look like a soldier? There's a saying in the Orient, loyalty to the end. Do you know what it means? Being patriotic. It means devoting yourself to your country. As long as we have loyalty to the end, there's no point in believing in anything, even in those we love. As long as we have loyalty to the end, there's no point in believing in anything, even in those we love. That's the way a soldier's supposed to think. The only thing we can believe in with absolute certainty is the mission, Jack. As long as we have loyalty to the end, there's no point in believing in anything, even in those we love. A soldier is supposed to think. The only thing we can believe in with absolute certainty is the mission. <laughs> I'm defecting to the Soviet Union. Jack, you can't come with us.